My name is Matthew Cowie, and we're here at the Pittsford Village, and I'm performing a psychology experiment. Will people believe me if I dress up as a reporter holding a microphone behind, the ca behind a camera and tell them fake news? Let's find out. Excuse me. No, don't run away. Um, I have a question. What are your thoughts on the amount of crackers left in the Pittsburgh Basin? Excuse me. Hey, folks. No. Or, uh, any of you? I don't think they speak English. What we do here is go back, 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 back. So here's the skinny. What we're doing is we're telling people that we're sophomores or freshmen from University of Rochester, and then we're telling them a bunch of crazy facts, letting them know that this is for a submission tape to 13 Wham News with a new segment called Changing Times. Should be pretty interesting. Hi, my name is Matthew Cowie. We're here in the Pittsford Village filming Changing Times for 13 Wham. I'm here with Isaac Hudson, uh, Kelly Stahl, Tracy Stahl. Now, what I'm going to tell you is I'm going to give you a couple facts about the city of Rochester and the city of Pittsburgh, and I'm going to and I'm going to like to know your thoughts and your opinions on these crazy facts. Now, there's some talk about changing the Erie Canal name to the Susan B. Anthony Key, but th will that get rid of the historic content of the Erie Canal, or do you think the change should be made? I think that you should just keep it that way because that's the way it's always been and uh, just stick to tradition. Well, at first thought, so the reason it's called the Erie Canal is because it's connected to uh, Lake Erie, is that right? And um, so, and this is the first time I've heard this question. And I'm guessing the Susan B. Anthony Canal is in memory of Susan B. Anthony for here in Rochester, a uh, great proponent of women's rights. Um, I am all for keeping historical connections as well as um, honoring historical figures, so it's possible. I agree with her. I think life changed the Erie Canal changed the Erie Canal. Excellent. Another quick question. Uh, the publishing company of books as Jane Eyre and Little Women is wanting to rid every book of the word Trump to avoid any political affiliation in case of any backlash. Should they remove it or should they keep it the same? Kind of keep the classics the classics. Keep the classics the classics. Why would you change that? <laughs> um, I value the English language so much that I would say the word Trump is bigger than the person Trump. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are people not crazy? Keep the classics the classics. People need to get a real problem. People will do anything to change politics. I mean, what can you say? All right, thank you so much for your help. Perfect, excellent. Thank you for your participation. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Enjoy your day. Best of luck, guys. All right, Matt and I just filmed in the town of Pittsburgh. And now we're going to the mall, because apparently no one's in the basin on a foggy Monday. We're about to have a showdown. Uh, there's the cop back there. style. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, oh no, they missed. Dude! Oh my god. Dude! 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 Dude. Ah! Ah! Oh, we're the pick a lane! Uh, we're in the mall right now. We're outside of the mall. We're driving. Oh, there's a car. You're looking at people funny on the road earlier. Turn! No, I'm turning here. There's too many cars, you can't bring Oh my god, there's oh, a yeah, drift, says. drift. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Security guard! <laughs> we can be arrested. <laughs> Wait, is this even it? <laughs> that was, we're down that way. Yeah, so we're going. No, it's before the Von Marvin. Yeah, it's before the Von It's perspective. Oh, that's psychology too, linear perspective. Nope. That's not my groove anymore. Oh, is this a snake? Yeah, I think it's a snake. This is the snake I'm like Look at that. <laughs> Look it at is the snake! <laughs> I want someone to love me just about as much as these kids love playing with these fake Legos. I'm Matthew Cowie, I'm here at uh, Eastview Mall and I'm here with And Justin, now I'm going to be asking you a couple questions on a segment we like to call Changing Times, where we give you a bunch of crazy facts that people want to change about Rochester and the Hall. And I just need to see your reactions to any of these 
possible changes that people are looking to make to Rochester. So, people want to change the name of the Erie Canal into the Susan B. Anthony Canal. Do you think they should make this change or keep it the same one? Yeah, it could be a good change for historical purposes. They should keep this name. I think it's stupid. Like, Erie Canal has been like... I've kind of known it as, a, as the Erie Canal for a lot of years, but I don't know. I, just, I don't have too much of an impact on the difference. I was going to say the same thing, pretty much. Are either of you aware of the classic books, Jane Eyre or Little Women? No. They're old classics involving women in politics. And now, so what they want to do is they want to remove every word Trump from the books to avoid any political affiliation. Should they make this change, or should they keep the classics the classics? Keep the books classics. They should keep the classics the classics. Yeah, they should keep the classics. I don't see why the current, the current president should change it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it doesn't really... Like, the books were written so long ago that they didn't know, like, what it was or anything. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. To the yeah, it couldn't predict the future. One final question. So there's a new drink that people want to add into schools in place of chocolate milk. And it's known as Slurm. And one more to wash that slurm taste out of my mouth. It's supposed to be like a carbonated kind of energy drink that contains vitamin C and vitamin D. But they want to replace it instead of milk. Now, is that a good choice or should kids keep drinking milk or this newfound energy drink? I think maybe they should try it out, but not like physically uh, put it in a swing, like maybe a boat. I think it should just be like both of them. I would personally want to just have milk compared to just changing it now. I, I was going to say milk too, just because I think there are too many energy drinks out there already, and like kids shouldn't be influenced to drink more energy drinks. Just... Awesome, thank you guys so much, enjoy your day. Thank you guys so much, enjoy your days. Yeah. Alright, so as you guys can see, I'm in the reporter outfit now, but in a quick second, and now I'm in my sleeves bag outfit, so let's go see if people can still believe me. Rocking them flops, them Led Zeppelin shirt, that crazy blue hair in the hat. Gotta go back in on the wall. Let's do this. All right, I'm Matt Kelly, and I'm with Josh Nagel, Darren Love, Jerry Tarowski, Graham Sarah. All right, so with the Erie Canal, they're planning on changing the name to the Susan B. Anthony Canal. Because like she was like this big historical woman or whatnot. You ever heard of um, what's that? You ever heard of the book uh, Little Women or Jane Eyre? Yeah. Really old classics. Yeah. I'm out there. <laughs> so they're gonna remove the word Trump from all the books after you come over something. So from every book to avoid any political affiliation. And then finally, you ever heard of Slurm? They're gonna add it. They're gonna switch milk in cafeterias with this new drink called Slurm. It's full of like vitamin C, vitamin E, and it's like basically an energy drink. Want to replace milk in schools? What do you I, think? I don't know anything about it. Three five minutes. Did you believe anyone? Uh, yeah, this is my next question. Did you believe any of that? No. It's all right, awesome. Do you guys believe any of those facts? I, I, I no. I don't. I don't, I don't think about the Erie Canal. Do you believe any of those facts? All right, awesome, that's all I needed. Thank you, have a nice day. There's a dude on it too, zoom in on a dude. <laughs> Look at him, look at him go, look at him go. Big boy.